the little girl in the suitcase. It evokes all kinds of emotions, doesn't it? But the simple fact of the matter is, Trace, this is going to be one incredibly difficult case for the police to crack because nobody so far has reported the little girl missing. But police are determined and, I might add, quietly confident that eventually they'll catch her killer. There's nothing good about this case. It's terrible that nobody's reported the child missing. Dozens of police, forensic experts and emergency workers. Just conducting door knocks in relation to what you probably heard in the media. Do you mind if we come inside and have a quick chat? 500 homes and businesses door knocked. 773 calls to crime stoppers. 69 children ruled out as potential victims. And one child tragically ruled in. The little girl in the suitcase. It's a very challenging investigation and I don't think anybody would have thought that um, weeks later we would still be trying to identify the little girl. Haunting images have been released by police investigating the violent murder of a child who's... It's believed the clothes have been dumped from this suitcase. A piece of luggage, police believe... Somebody must be missing her. It's so bizarre, really. It's just, yes, out in the middle of nowhere. And it's your town. This, this is where you live. Yeah, nothing ever happens. This is the final resting place for the little girl who police say died in such violent and terrible circumstances. Her remains put into a suitcase and dumped here in the bush along this lonely stretch of highway two hours east of Adelaide. Police say the suitcase with the little girl's remains inside could have been here for months. Have something like this, it makes you feel strange. And do you feel a bit strange? Yep. I feel a bit tearful. You feel tearful? Mm. Yeah. Tearful for the little girl or...? Tearful for the little girl and for the family that's lost a little girl. In so many ways she is the little girl lost. No name, no face, no family, no trace. And in the most heartbreaking way, she's the little girl found. In an old black suitcase in the scrub on the side of a road. Where though is her family? Why has nobody reported her missing? It's terrible that nobody's reported the child missing. Um, there's nothing good about this case. Detective Superintendent Des Bray says somebody knows this little girl, aged between two and a half and four years old. Somebody must recognise these items found with her remains in the suitcase. A Dora the Explorer t-shirt, a cotton-on tutu, a pink shoe with a butterfly, shorts with kittens and teddy bears, and this, a colourful quilt, could be the best clue. We're certain that the person who made this quilt clearly loved this little girl and uh, has given it to her. Did anybody love her? Well, I'm sure somebody would have loved her. They made a quilt for her, a lovely little quilt, and um, it's in the suitcase with all her clothes. But why, if the person loved her and made her a quilt, mm. where, where is that person? Mm. Yeah, that's, a, that's the strange thing about it. Nobody's come forward to, to claim the little girl to say that they made the quilt or or had anything to do with it. Kay is a local quilt maker. Today she became part of the police investigation. I think they're um, trying to trace the, um, the quilt that was um, in the case. Were you able to help the police? I was able to give him a list of suppliers that he could then go and contact. They may be able to um, help him as well. This is Karunda, a couple of k's down the road from the dreadful discovery. Until now, wheat and sheep prices dominated local conversations. Now, front and centre on the town notice board, the murder of a little girl. Have the police been here and asked you questions? Yes, they've, they've been here and asked me a couple of questions. Like yesterday, they had a roadblock a, a couple of weeks ago and stopped the cars and asking everybody, you know, whether they seen the suitcase or or stopped to have a look at the suitcase or anything like that. Steve, the local baker. Like others, he says he's spooked and worried. Worried about where it, where it's, how it's all happened or how it's got here and, and why. Worried that it hasn't been um, cleared up yet. 
It's July 15 this year, what's that, three or so weeks ago, and a motorist stops, sees the suitcase and drags it closer to the road to have a better look. He sees only clothing. Then in subsequent days, other motorists stop and have a rummage through the suitcase and see only clothing too. Then a male motorist stops and sees a jawbone protruding through the clothing. And it's only then that the full horror of the little girl in the suitcase is revealed. I know, it's just so scary to think that um, this little girl's been missing and no one knows anything. Well, it's, nothing's come up about it. What do you think? Um, it's just scary to think that someone's been killed in, and left here. For Courtney and Shane Paik, it's all far too close to home. They live here in the tiny hamlet of Wanaka, just a few hundred metres from where the child's body was dumped. Uh, surely someone would have to know something. That's why it's just so weird. Martin, look, this is an, an horrific case. It's a murder of a very young child, you know, a very innocent child. You know, it's, it's, it's baffling as to why somebody hasn't come forward. They may not particularly know that the girl's been murdered. Detective Inspector Greg Hutchins. He says along with the quilt, this black dress from Cotton On could be a major lead. Oh, absolutely, Sydney. If it, you know, it's been found with the young girl. Our understanding is only 28 of them have been sold in South Australia. We're obviously doing work in the background to try and ask the question, you know, who has purchased these 28 dresses? This is going to be extremely difficult to solve. I've had similar cases for, with adults. So the key here is identifying the type of suitcase, identifying the clothes. And realistically, I think to solve this case, it's going to come from the community. Charlie Bazina, a former Victoria Police homicide detective. Somewhere, someone, he says, knows something. DNA is going to be the key, followed by that particular witness in that community is going to have that piece of information. This, this baby just didn't live in isolation out in the middle of the desert on its own. Police believe the little girl could have been dead for as long as seven years. So the question is, why dump the body now? Why dump the body next to a road on this side and a railway line on this side? Because inevitably, she's going to be found. So was this an attack of conscience or did the person who dumped the body want the little girl to be found? Why was it placed there? Um... I personally think that person wants it to be found. That, says hairdresser Diane Micken, is the question perplexing the locals. I don't understand why they put it there and not hidden it. Really hidden it underground. I mean, there's a lot of space out there for it to be hidden, hidden and it's just put there for everyone or someone to find it eventually. To add to the mystery, a mystery man. Wanaka is the closest hamlet to where the suitcase was dumped. Blink and you'd miss it. It's a tiny little town, Wanaka, population 24, and locals always notice when something unusual happens. So a man, neatly dressed, well dressed in his 60s, walking down the main street here carrying a suitcase is certainly unusual. And when he refuses to acknowledge locals, that's even more unusual. Suffice to say, police would like to acknowledge him. We still don't know who that man is, whether he has anything to do with this case. That seems strange to think that he's carrying a suitcase around Wanaka and um, that we assume that that suitcase was from that man that he'd left it there. But no one knows who the man is, he came no, and he went. He came and he went, yes, that's and right and he can't be found. Mm. Strange, isn't it? This was a living, breathing child that someone out there has some information. Every rock must be turned over, every burrow must be looked down, every blade of grass is looked at. You then become the voice and the life of that particular baby because no one else has. So who are you, little one, with your quilt and your butterfly shoe and your tutu? We know you are beautiful and pure and innocent 
and full of the wonder of life, because all children are. Somebody loved you. Somebody cared about you. And hopefully that somebody will put an end to this and come forward for you. Investigators get very personally involved in it. It's like their own. Because they know out there is a killer. There's nothing more important in the world, is there? Our children, that's right. That's, they grow up to be adults and change the world. This little poor little girl will not be able to do that. So sad. And South Australian police are also, of course, being assisted by police from each state and territory.